Imagine the soft glow of a vintage television screen in the corner of your living room, casting a warm and inviting light across the floor. It's a simpler time, and you're settling in for another evening of wholesome entertainment. Then, as the familiar jingle fills the room, you find yourself transported to the charming world of the 1966 TV series, Family Affair. The show unfolds before your eyes, introducing you to the endearing characters who become like members of your own family. Do you recall your first encounter with Mr. French, the sophisticated and ever-dapper butler? Or perhaps you fondly remember the adorable twins, Buffy and Jody, with their infectious curiosity and childlike wonder. And let's not forget the delightful Sissy, the eldest of the brood, who added a touch of teenage rebellion to the mix. In the heartwarming episodes of Family Affair, you laughed with them, cried with them, and celebrated life's little victories right alongside this quirky yet lovable family. Through the lens of nostalgia, you may have even seen reflections of your own family dynamics and their adventures and misadventures. Now, as we journey back in time to explore some fascinating and lesser-known facts about this iconic show, well unravel the behind-the-scenes magic that made Family Affair a timeless classic. So, grab a seat and get ready to delve into the world of Mr. French and the Davis family like never before. Family Affair, a beloved TV series that aired from 1966 to 1971, revolves around the heartwarming tale of a bachelor, Bill Davis, who becomes the unexpected guardian of his deceased brother's three orphan children, Sissy, Jody, and Buffy. Created by Don Federson and produced by MGM Television, the show is a poignant exploration of family dynamics and societal values during the swinging 60 seconds. At its core, Family Affair emphasizes the contrast between Bill's sophisticated Manhattan lifestyle and the innocence and charm of his young charges. The iconic characters, including Mr. French, the suave English butler, and the precocious twins, Jody and Buffy, added depth and humor to the series. The show's unique style is characterized by its blend of comedy and heartfelt moments, striking a balance that resonated with viewers. Despite mixed critical reviews, the series found enduring popularity and continues to be celebrated for its wholesome portrayal of family life. It left an indelible mark on popular culture, demonstrating that unconventional families can provide love, support, and life lessons. Family Affair remains a timeless classic that reminds us of the enduring power of family bonds. Behind the scenes of Family Affair in the 1966 TV series Family Affair, a few interesting facts stand out. Real Ages Versus On screen ages, in the first season of the show, Sissy Davis was portrayed as a 15-year-old, while the twins Buffy and Jody were said to be five. However, the reality was quite different. Johnny Whitaker, who played Jody, was actually six years old, and Anissa Jones, who portrayed Buffy, was eight. Meanwhile, Kathy Garver, who played Sissy, was a 20-year-old during that time. Surprisingly, both Kathy Garver and Johnny Whitaker share the same birthday, December 13th. Buffy's broken leg, in one particular episode where Buffy breaks her leg, Anissa Jones, the actress who played her, had actually broken her leg in real life. The writers of the show scrambled to come up with a script for that episode in just one day, incorporating Anissa's injury into the storyline seamlessly. These tidbits offer a glimpse into the intriguing world of Family Affair, and the unique behind-the-scenes happenings that added depth to the beloved series. In the 1960s, Family Affair was a popular TV series that left its mark on the era. It's interesting to note that several plot lines from another well-known show of the time, The Brady Bunch, were borrowed from Family Affair. For instance, the episode where Bobby and Cindy get lost in the Grand Canyon mirrors a similar situation in Family Affair, when Buffy and Jody got lost in Spain. The My Fair Opponent episode in The Brady Bunch, where Marsha transforms a classmate, draws inspiration from Buffy's Fair Lady, where Buffy does the same. Even the episode titles have similarities. Hello, Alice, Goodbye and Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore in the Brady Bunch were inspired by various family affair episodes where Mr. French contemplated quitting his job. The Drummer Boy episode in the Brady Bunch, where Bobby faces rejection, echoes the unsound of music in Family Affair, where Buffy nearly gets cut from the girls' glee club. 
Family Affair also influenced the Brady Bunch in episodes like The Private Ear, where Peter tapes others and gets into trouble, similar to the Jody Affair and Family Affair where Buffy and Jody record Mr. French. Greg's transformation into a 70 seconds hipster in Our Son. The man was modeled after Flower Power in Family Affair when Sissy adopts a hippie look. Furthermore, the Kitty Carry All is missing episode in The Brady Bunch, where Cindy loses her doll, takes cues from Lost in Spain, and other family affair episodes where Buffy loses her doll, Mrs. Beasley. The episode Double Parked, where the Bradys protest against bulldozing a park, is reminiscent of You Can Fight City Hall in Family Affair. Even the episode today, I am a freshman, where Marsha tries to fit into a clique, parallels the joiners in Family Affair, where Uncle Bill helps Buffy join a similar clique. Interestingly, Family Affair star Kathy Garver revealed in an interview that Cindy Brady's character was closely modeled after Buffy Davis, both sporting pigtails, mini skirts, and carrying their iconic dolls. When Family Affair faced the threat of cancellation in 1971 as part of CBS's Rural Purge, ABC considered picking it up. However, they dropped the idea as they believed it resembled their existing show, The Brady Bunch, about a large step family. In a curious twist, the French-dubbed version of Family Affair made in Paris renamed the children to Fanfan, Jackie, and Cecile, while keeping Uncle Bill as is. Even Mr. French underwent a friendly name change, becoming Mr. Felix. Behind the scenes, Family Affair had a 60-day production schedule. Brian Keith, who played Uncle Bill, filmed his scenes in 30-day blocks, similar to Fred McMurray's approach in My Three Sons. This scheduling allowed Keith to accommodate any film roles that might come his way. In summary, Family Affair not only entertained audiences in the 1960s, but also left a significant mark on the era's television landscape, influencing storylines and even international adaptations. Its impact can still be seen in the echoes of its episodes and other popular shows of the time. In the 1966 TV series Family Affair, Bill Davis and his family lived in Manhattan at 600 E, 62nd Street. This iconic Manhattan address served as the backdrop for the adventures of Bill Davis, an affluent bachelor who suddenly became the guardian of his niece and nephew, Buffy and Jody. The show was known for its heartwarming family dynamics and the elegant New York City setting. Kathy Garver and Johnny Whitaker, who played Sissy, and Jody, respectively, would go on to become the lone survivors from the series for more than 20 years. However, their relationship took a hit due to a prolonged feud. Garver believed she had helped Whitaker with auditions and interviews for other shows and commercials, but felt he didn't show enough gratitude. The rift between them lasted for years. Eventually, they reconciled, staging a reunion on opera, which can be found on YouTube. While Johnny Whitaker portrayed the all-American, clean-cut Jody Davis on Family Affair, he also had a contrasting role during that time. He starred as a boy possessed by the devil in the film Something Evil, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Family Affair remains a classic show, known for its memorable characters and the unique dynamics of an uncle suddenly becoming a father figure. It's also a testament to the complexities of relationships in the entertainment industry, as demonstrated by the garver Whitaker feud and eventual reunion. In the 1966 TV series Family Affair, several intriguing facts emerge. Unfortunately, there isn't substantial information available regarding the first idea about Sebastian Cabot's replacement by John Williams and the storyline behind it. However, we do have an interesting tidbit about the show. In real life, the actors who portrayed Jody and Sissy, Johnny Whitaker and Kathy Garver, shared the same birthday, December 13th. This coincidental detail added a unique connection between their characters on the show. While the characters they played weren't siblings, their shared birthday is a fun fact that fans of Family Affair may appreciate. Additionally, it's worth noting that in 1968, L.M. Van Doren, the president of the National Society of Professional Engineers, provided consultation for the series. This involvement underscores the show's commitment to maintaining a level of authenticity in its portrayal of engineering-related elements. So, while some mysteries about the show remain, the shared birthday of Joe and Sissy, and the consultation by a prominent engineer offer intriguing insights into the world of family affairs.
The mysterious curse of Hollywood, tragic events surrounding Family Affairs cast members the 1966 TV series Family Affair may be remembered for its heartwarming storyline, but it is also shrouded in unsolved mysteries and tragic events that affected its cast members. Hollywood, as glamorous as it may seem, sometimes conceals a dark underbelly. 1. The Curse of Legends, Unsolved Mysteries of Tragic Events Several cast members of Family Affair found themselves entangled in tragic events, leading to rumors of a curse surrounding the show. And that Funicello, who made guest appearances, battled multiple sclerosis for years before her passing in 2013. Brian Keith, who played the central character Uncle Bill, faced personal struggles and ultimately took his own life in 1997. These tragic events fueled speculation about a curse haunting the show's cast. 2. Putting Family First Departure from Hollywood after a family tragedy One of the show's stars, Sebastian Cabot, who portrayed the butler Mr. French, faced a heartbreaking choice. After the loss of his son in a tragic accident in 1977, Cabot decided to step away from Hollywood to focus on his family. This decision marked a stark contrast to the glitz and glamour associated with the entertainment industry. 3. Greed amidst the elite, tragic stories of Hollywood stars while the show was a success, and also shed light on the darker side of fame and fortune. Some cast members, including Kathy Garver, faced financial struggles in the years following the show's conclusion. This highlights the often precarious nature of success in Hollywood, where financial stability can prove elusive. In summary, Family Affair, despite its wholesome image, was not immune to tragedy and the challenges that come with fame in Hollywood. The unsolved mysteries and personal struggles of its cast members serve as a sobering reminder of the complexities that often lie beneath the surface of the entertainment industry. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the timeless world of the 1966 TV series Family Affair, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the special place it holds in your heart. This show, with its endearing characters and heartwarming stories, has woven itself into the tapestry of television history, leaving indelible impressions on countless viewers like yourself. Perhaps you found solace in the wisdom of Mr. French, admired the resilience of Buffy and Jody, or chuckled at the antics of Uncle Bill and Mr. Giles. Maybe it was the genuine warmth and sincerity of the show that resonated with you, making it a cherished part of your TV memories. Now, I encourage you to share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments from Family Affair. Was there a particular episode that left a lasting impact on you? Did the show's themes of family, love, and togetherness strike a chord in your own life? Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich legacy of this series. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey down memory lane. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. As you share your insights and memories, you help keep the spirit of family affair alive for generations to come. Warm regards and heartfelt thanks for your participation.